Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with equations and how to find their solutions. Equations and their solutions. When solving equations and their solutions, you want to remember to plug in the value of the variable, then evaluate the equation to see if the answer is true. Remember to use order of operations when you need to. Here's example number one. I have t plus seven equals nine. I'm gonna rewrite the equation. That's this part over here, the t plus seven equals nine. Instead of writing the t, I'm going to write a 2 because they're telling me that the value of t is 2. And I'm going to see if it does actually equal 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9. True. So the answer to example number 1 is true. Let's move on to example number two. Example number two. Again, I'm gonna follow the same steps. I'm gonna plug in the value for t, which is four, into my problem and see if I get 16. 11 plus four is actually 15. So this is not true. This is not a true statement. Sometimes you may see uh, your book or your teacher or your worksheet or whatever you're working from have an equal sign and they put a slash through the equal sign. That means that T does not equal 4. Or I can reword that as saying T cannot equal 4 to make this problem true. If it's 4, this problem is going to equal 15, not 16. So T cannot equal or does not equal 4. Um, so this is not a true statement. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three. I have 2t plus 1 equals 5. I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of writing t, I'm going to write a 3. 2. Put my 3 in. Plus 1 equals 5. And you probably noticed that I put my 3 in parentheses. That is because if I were to write my 3 directly next to the 2, it's going to look like a 23. And I need to make sure I understand the operation that's in between these two numbers. The operation that's in between the 2 and the t is multiplication. So I need to make sure I continue multiplication. And you can write multiplication um, by putting one of your terms in parentheses. So now I'm going to remember order of operations to solve. Um, so that's going to remind me to make sure I multiply my 2 and my 3 first before I work with this 1. I can't say 1 plus 3 and then try to multiply that by 2 and check to see what my answer is going to be, okay? So 2 times 3 is 6. And then 6 plus 1 is 7. So no, this is not true. Um, I could draw a slash in my equal sign or say it's false. Your directions may say write true or false or they may say you know write the appropriate equal sign um, but basically this um, value for t is not a solution to this equation let's move on to our final example example number four example number four has 5t squared plus 6 equals 51 let's rewrite again I've rewritten it with my t written as its actual value of 3. So now I'm going to evaluate remembering order of operations. So I have 3 to the second power, which is the same thing as 3 times 3. So that means this becomes 9. And I'm rewriting everything else. Now I have 5 times 9, and that is 45, plus 6. Now I have 45 plus 6, 
which is 51. And yes, 51 does equal 51, so this is true. That was my last example. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to supereasymath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.